There's a spider. Shall we do it? I think we should do it. I think we just killed a spider. Backpack vacuum cleaner. When do you need it? Where do you use it for? And how do you maximize the flexibility? And how does it compare to a canister vacuum cleaner? Hi Andy here, this is my review of the Pneumatic RSV-130 Backpack Vacuum Cleaner. If you are just looking for a backpack vacuum cleaner, this video will help you narrow down your search for the backpack vacuum cleaner and you will know what to look out for to fulfill your requirements. Quick facts about this Pneumatic RSV-130 vacuum cleaner. It runs on a 620 watt low wattage motor, comes with an AS30 kit, 6 liter capacity, 12.5 cable with a cleaning range of 31.4 meter. The dimension is 250mm width, 360mm length, and 440 height. Everything in is 7 kilo. It's a back vacuum system with standard tri tex filtration. It comes in grey, blue or red colour. We have the grey here with us. They all perform the same way despite the colours. The first thing that I don't like is the harness link. It just looks flimsy with minimum support. I'm not sure why they do it this way, but so far we haven't had any clients that come back to us that ask for a replacement for the harness link. On the get-go, I don't know how to begin with by looking at the harness, the brush, the wand, and the on-off toggle control. But once I put on my bag, it all started to make sense. It clings on my bag just like a backpack bag with an additional waist harness with velcro mechanism that is suitable for various waist size. With the style adjustment, it does fit at the back very securely and can easily get a right fit for me just like a backpack bag. It has two flexible slots at the side of the waist harness, one to slot in the on-off switch toggle and another one for the brush that comes with the kit, which is extremely useful when during operating, but more on that later. Another thing that I don't really like is the hose. For me, it is a bit too short. I understand it is short for a reason because it's a backpack vacuum. If it is too long, it might be clumsy or create obstruction while operating. But I think it would be nicer if the length can be one feet longer than what it is now. Because now, if you strap on the vacuum and if the hose is not in the right position, you might have hard time locate the hose if you have a short hand like me. Just take note of that. The 12.5 meter is the commercial standard length. Good enough to cover most area without plug and unplug. It has a built-in safety catch, which is subtle. What is that for? It's to protect the cable from pulling out from the vacuum unit in the event the cable is being stretched to the maximum distance from the plug point. And most of the time, I got carried away by the cable length and forgot this backpack does come with a cable because I just keep going until the safety cash pull. That's the benefit of having a long cable, extra useful for people like me who doesn't like to plug and unplug or finding the nearest plug point. The vacuum motor is the signature pneumatic low wattage motor with self-cooling function. It is relatively quiet despite the motor is running behind my back. I think one of the reasons the noise level is not so jarring despite the low wattage vacuum motor is that the motor is mounted at the bottom of the vacuum unit. And speaking of motor, we did a suction test. Like usual, we get the usual 2003mm H2O suction, which is similar if not better than most of the 1200 watts or 1800 watts out there. The footprint of this backpack vacuum is a bit boxy despite the width of it. I didn't bump into any object behind me. And if you don't know, Pneumatic also use this backpack unit for their Dustro unit for all the scrubbers and high speed polisher. And that boxy design also comes with a 6 liter capacity for dirt containment. It's not huge, but you get the job done if your main purpose is to vacuum up fine dust, dirt, like hotel room, curtains, ceiling, cinema. With a caveat, if cinema, you might fill up the HEPA bag pretty quickly because of all this popcorn. You may opt for the HEPA zipper bag design for this purpose. I also know some clients use this backpack vacuum for hotel rooms where they have a dedicated vacuum specialist to go into room after room just to vacuum the carpet, floor, and toilet and the rest of the housekeeping team can take care of the remaining. 
which also bring me to the next point. If the vacuum specialist go room after room, would the vacuum cleaner overheat and get power cut? The answer is guarantee no. The self-cooling motor able to run 1600 hours non-stop before the power cut kicks in. 1600 hours, probably we just have to make sure the user doesn't burn out and quit. For the flexibility using the kit and slot provided, I think they are in the right place near the side of the waist. The slots at the side make it very easy to call out the brush whenever I approach the upholstery surface like sofa or seats. It also comes with a stainless steel tube, make it easier to detach whenever I need to without going stuck. Just an extra note, the stainless steel tubes are usually more expensive, durable compared to aluminum type, which may get stuck and very hard to take them apart after a while. The downside of stainless steel tubes is just a hair heavier than the aluminum tubes. But if you're going for some other brand vacuum cleaner that comes with a stainless steel tube, just make sure it is real stainless steel, not stainless steel coated like this. The floor nozzle is one of the highest suction nozzle pneumatic created, can be used on hard surface floor with integrated brush and for the carpet, just toggle the brush away using leg without having to bend down doing that. Just one thing to take note, vacuum suction power is not just created by the power or the voltage of the motor. It is the combination of airflow from the nozzle, hose, filtration, seal, motor, and the air outlet. The high suction nozzle, I notice it created too much suction. Sometimes it can be a little bit hard to move around and the too much suction problem can be easily solved by releasing the pressure on the fly via the band tube that comes standard. So after two weeks of using this RS-V130 backpack vacuum, it changed the way I think about vacuum cleaner. Because for some tight areas, it is really convenient to work without having to worry about the canister is behind me or worry about when will the battery run out if using a stick whack. I think one of the downside is having six to seven kilo weight behind my back. But again, my backpack is heavier than that and traded the weight with convenience that I get with this RSV-130, I think it's worth it. The price, at the time we are recording this, the RSV-130 is retail about $511, but pricing is different from region to region due to local duty and tax, and some region may be more expensive or cheaper than others. And depending when you're watching this, Pneumatic has a new RSV-115 that they have just launched. I think that is replacing this RSV-130. The new RSV-150 does come with more modern design, visible yellow cable, and many more. What is obvious is no more boxy design, it's like a product by itself, no more sharing part with other floor care products. We will do a first impression of review video once we get our hands on. So for you, do you need a backpack vacuum cleaner? I mean, regardless of what brand you are after, if you have a big hall or tight spaces, need to vacuum on some high areas or cleaning turnaround time is short, like cinema, hotel room, I would think a backpack vacuum is suitable for this kind of situation. So can this backpack vacuum cleaner replace the traditional canister vacuum cleaner? I think it's definitely yes. You have better flexibility with less thing to worry about and will definitely give you a shorter cleaning time. The trade off, you have slightly less dirt containment if compared with a nine liter or 15 liter capacity vacuum cleaner. Price is slightly more expensive and the weight behind your bag. All right, that's been it. We will be getting our hands on on the new RSV 150 real soon. I will link it up here or subscribe. You will know when we drop a new video and hit the like button if you are getting something out from the time we are together. Link below or above if you want to get yourself one, if we still have stock. Catch you in the next one. Take care.